What up guys, it is your boy Drunk Buffalo and today I am continuing my comeback into YouTube and stuff. My last video is probably about a week old now, probably. It's been a while since I put on a video. But today I'm starting my new chapter in my YouTube career. As a 2K YouTuber and also other games, don't worry, I'm still gonna play other games. But 2K is probably my game my main game right now because I'm very much enjoying it. And for my first video, I'm going to bring you a glass cleaner build. Um, I'm bringing you this because there's not very many glass cleaner builds out there. And there's also a lot of, like, just fake information about the badges for glass cleaner. But all those are going to be separate videos after that, after this video, telling you how to get those badges. Because there's just a lot of fake videos out there that just lie about the numbers. And telling you you can get so much quicker than what you actually can. Cause it's it's kind of brutal as a glass cleaner, some of the badges are. Others are very easy to get as a glass cleaner. But uh, before all that, I'm just going to show you guys what my glass cleaner is and what I would do different now, knowing I, what I know now for my attributes. So my guy's only 86 overall. I haven't upgrade, upgraded him anymore. Um, as you can see, I put a lot of stuff into lips and dunks because as a glass cleaner, most of your points are going to be dunks and putbacks. Um, and also strength and rebounding of the the two most important things for this build because as a glass cleaner you're not going to be the star of the team you are the dirty man you do all the hard work so that your sharpshooters and other guys can get open and get wide open shots for you guys to win if you're looking to be like the superstar of a team the glass cleaner is not for you you can put up some crazy numbers sometimes if you're playing like a weak guy in park or a weak guy in pro am who just can't handle you because glass cleaner is very OP on dunks and strength, obviously. But besides for that, as a glass cleaner, you're just gonna be setting up picks and getting rebounds. You are the hard working you're pretty much the motor that keeps the team running because you you're just gonna set picks. That's all you're gonna do. So is this in, uh, with that being said, uh, mid-range, I like what I did with my mid-range. It's 71 without boost. Um, the extra point in mid-range wasn't worth it for me. I think it's like only like two points more. So, you know, everything but one bar in mid-range is good if you're just going to do the base sum. After that, layups and dunks, everything but two. Um, this is where... Like, straight up, I'm going to tell you, agility, I put two in it. You can get without putting two in it. Gear guys just slow no matter what. Um, for me, I would put the two in agility if you want. Uh, if not, just wait. If you, Don't put any more than two. Just wait to, you, to upgrade your guy more than level 86 overall. To get your guy, you're making the move to get your guy to like 95 overall and to a real superstar. That's when you upgrade agility for me. Because besides that... <laughs> Your guy's just so slow compared to everyone else. And you, if you're going to do agility, you have to go all the way out, get up to 60, or you're just not going to see a difference. If you don't spend that extra point in agility, spend it here, layups and dunks, uh, all but one bar in layups and dunks. That's totally worth it for me uh, for that point. Uh, already went through mid range already. Post scoring, uh, it's not the most important thing, like the post fadeaway, because like I said, most of your shit is going to be uh, dunks and shit. The one thing that really matters in it though is that post control. The bottom one, the, the third, the bottom stat on there goes post fadeaway, hook. Post control is very important because you can control the post. As a glass cleaner, you're not going to get beat. You, you guys are so much stronger than anyone else for the most part. It's very, very important. Like I said, agility, I put two in there just so my guy was a little bit faster. But after seeing all this, go all the way out on agility if you're going to do it. So I would just wait till after overall 86 until you hit like the 95 overall when you're making that move to put anything into agility because your guys just gonna be way slower than everyone else a uh, strength I did everything but one bar this is where I s this is where the other bar in agility comes in uh like I said I, put, I said you, sh you put one lips and dunks if you want to if you don't put anything in agility put max your strength out all the way strength is so it's your best attribute or extra I can't fucking talk attribute that you have as a glass cleaner and also along with your rebounding I maxed out my rebounding away totally worth it you can see a big difference 
because originally I had like three bars left on rebounding. The three extra bars max it out all the way. You can see the difference. You you can just see it. Trust me. Playmaking nothing. You're not going to be doing shit. You can't cross anyone over, and you shouldn't be dribbling as a glass cleaner for the most part. So nothing there. Defending, I did everything but three bars. It's fine. My defense isn't the best. Um, you're going to see the real payout if you max out your uh, defense all the way. That blocking and uh, and shot contest goes way up if you put three more up. I think it goes, it goes up into the mid-80s, I believe, if I remember right, or at least low 80s. I'm probably wrong on that. I'm so sorry. But yeah, that's what... What I would do for the stats right now. So nothing in playmaking, nothing in three point shooting. I didn't mention that. Don't put anything in three point shooting unless you're maxing guy out all the way. And shot off the uh shooting off the dribble, there's no point. You're just doing dunks. Uh you shouldn't be trying any fadeaways or anything like that. Any jump shots you take, you're gonna be posted up uh, or set up at mid range, like fifteen feet, and you can shoot if you're wide open. Um everything but two bars and layups and dunks. Unless you do, don't do anything in agility, put one extra bar there, to, they're almost maxed out. Mid-range, everything but one bar, I strongly suggest that. Post-scoring, you can do what I did right there, how many is that? Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bars. It's, it's kind of worth it. I mean, the post-control is what you really want there. Post-fadeaway, post-hook. It, it, it's not going to matter that much until you upgrade it all the way you won't see anything but post control is pretty important for a glass cleaner if you control the post and get position you're going to get dunks agility like I said you can put two bars in or don't put anything in all you can put the extra bar in strength right there if you want rebounding all the way max out as your job is to get rebounds and set screens and defending everything but three bars is what I did and I kinda like it it, it does its job like I said once you make that push to 95 overall and higher, max all the defense, you're gonna see you're gonna see a big jump in probably your defense. You do all the way out on like blocks and dunks and shot contest, and also same with your agility. That's when you're gonna see the big differences in that when you can upgrade all the way. But if you're just gonna do the main 86 overall, don't put anything into it. It's just not worth it. These are way more placement dunks. That 71 mid range strength and rebounding. It's w way more important than your agility uh, if you're just going to do the base set. But once again, I mean, really competitive, uh, repetitive. If you are going to make that push with 92, 95 overall and put the grind and effort into it, then that's when you upgrade your agility. You will see a difference and you'll be able to move a lot easier. But just for now, it's not worth it. Uh, for the badges, I. I've got all the badges except for Break Starter because I am playing a lot more Park. And Break Starter for me is more of a pro am badge to get your team out and running the full court. For Park, I don't really see use for it for myself because I like my team to play a little bit slower, use the shot clock at least 10 seconds in. Let me do it. let me do my thing and get brick wall. Use my brick wall badge because. Knocking people down is like one of the funnest things to me, and it just opens things up so much more. Uh, I will show you how to get all these badges here in a little bit, and I will give you the real numbers and not some of these bullshit numbers people are putting in their videos talking about how easy it is to get. Because, no, it's not the easiest thing. Brick wall's pretty damn easy. I'm not going to lie. Brick wall's pretty fucking easy. But they tell you to put this on a rookie. For a glass cleaner, don't do that. I'll I'll explain everything in those videos. Glass cleaner is one of the few positions and uh, roles that it's better to use or be on Hall of Fame mo mode than it is to be on rookie. But I'll, I'll explain all that stuff in later videos. But yeah, get hustle rebounder, put back king, brick wall, and bruiser. Those four badges are very good badges for a glass cleaner. I mean. Brick wall is probably the most OP badge except for uh, ankle breaker. Brick wall and ankle breaker are probably the two most OP badges in the game right now. Uh, put back king, totally worth getting. Like I said, you get well, all the rebounds. You can go straight back up and you get a bonus for going straight back up. Higher chance of making it. A uh, hustle rebounder, you can see a huge difference. with a, 
a, with a glass cleaner without husk rebounder and a glass cleaner with husk rebounder, the one with it will all will kick the one without's ass on the boards. Like it's crazy. You can see a huge difference. Brick wall. It's a must get as a glass cleaner because you're going. Like I said, you're going to be the hardworking guy who's probably not going to get that much credit and it's not going to be a star. But this brick wall badge will open things up for your team and make your team very, very good. And we, for me, getting brick wall before we see a huge difference in our gameplay. We are winning a lot more now. You just need, you just need a guy who can do his dirty work like the glass cleaner uh, can. Uh, lastly, bruiser. Bruiser's nice. Uh, I mean, it pushes people out of the way. It doesn't work every time, but it activates a lot. It's crazy. So I guess it does work, but you can only tell the difference like a few times. But it's, when you're getting brick wall, you'll get bruiser no matter what. So I mean, it's worth it, and it can make a difference. Um, like I said, I haven't got a brick starter yet because I haven't played very much pro am, and brick starter is a lot. It's probably it's more of a pro am badge for me to get your team on the run, but. With that being said, this is my class cleaner build. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave any suggestions below about how I can prove this um, and what other builds you want to see and what other badge tutorial videos you would like to see in the future when I start making those. But with that being said, this is the end of my video and I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Peace out next time guys.